Hi, welcome to Make It. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can make a 600 watts inverter easily with the um, IR2153 half bridge driver IC. So this inverter can be easily modified to handle 1000 watts with the correct parameters. The IR2153 is a half bridge driver IC which just requires a few components for biasing. So for the power supply, you will need about you can rectify the mains depending on your region to obtain about 170 volts DC or 310 volts DC. So at the positive rail you will have your high voltage DC which will be used to power the power transformer as well as the IC. So the IC is powered by this bleeder resistor which is written at 30 kilo ohms, but anything from 18 kilo ohms to 30 kilo ohms will do. Just ensure the resistor is written at least 3 watts. So the IC has a built-in 15 volts zener voltage regulator, which powers it and prevents the output voltage as well as it powers a prayer from exceeding 15 volts, which can damage the IC. So for the frequency, it's determined by the timing resistor R1 and C1, connected as 10 kilo ohms and 5 nanofarads. So th this will give you a high frequency inverter, but if you want a low frequency inverter, use C1 as 5 microfarads to obtain around 50 Hz. So C3 is a stabilization capacitor for the IC, which should be written from about 2 microfarads to 47 microfarads. So uh, the IC has two pins, the high signed MOSFET driver and the low signed MOSFET driver, and a reference pin, 50, pin 6. So connect pin 8 to the reference pin 6 with a 0.1 microfarad capacitor as shown here. You can include a diode from the VCC pin 1 to pin 8. Just ensure it's a high frequency diode such as the FR107 or the UF4007. So when pin 7 is high and pin 5 is low, Q1 will conduct. So L1 is a mutual inductor. So this is the primary side of a transformer. So current will flow from the positive rail through Q1 through the primary side of the transformer and through this output capacitor C5 and to ground since capacitors allow a C voltage and current to flow through. So when pin 7 turns low and pin 5 turns high, Q1 will turn off but Q2 will conduct. So current will flow from the positive rail through C4 through the primary winding of the transformer, through the MOSFET Q2 and to ground. So it's a half bridge driver with all the cycles happening on the same winding, meaning you don't use two windings as in the case of a push-pull topology and it can easily handle 1000 watts as desired. So just ensure the capacitors are written for such a high current. You can use electrolytic capacitors to increase the current. Just use the values from 22 microfarads all the way to about 30 and 30 microfarads depending on the current that you want. So at the output you'll have your AC depending on the widings ratio. So this inverter can also be applied from uh, 12 volts per supply and convert it to high voltage AC signal depending on the primary and secondary winding stance ratio. So that's all about this inverter tutorial. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects. See you in the next episode. Have a nice day.